What's good, everybody? It's the boy Josh A. Flight Man back again with another video, man. I just ate some Taco Bell, so I ain't my bed and burp, you know. We ain't gonna add it nothing. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna add it nothing. Yeah, But, um, yeah, man. Agent, um, Agent, my boy Agent, man, dropped a video, man. About the response he did with you know with Fredo responding to him talking about he did this and this man you know what I'm saying this and that I was like ain't Fredo man you have to cancel him you know so even though Asia ain't cancel Asia ain't cancel though but you know you gotta do that with Fredo man I know I, I fuck with you heavy though Fredo but you have to cancel him like, you know that's what I don't like you gotta cancel somebody just to you feel me he was just speaking his mind for even if you can't take that then I don't know Fredo you know what I'm saying I don't know you know hey, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm like y'all on my channel, man. But I have to, I have to see that. You know, I have to, you know, I have to react to my boy Agent. Feel me? Because Agent only, only do is speak facts. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments, man. Agent, you know, only do is speak facts, man. In the comments, man. Let me know. You feel me? But um, yeah, we're gonna right to it, man. Like it up, man. So my channel, you know, my channel, hit the bell. If you knew any songs, any questions, let me know in the comments or hit the email. Up, you know, in description down below, my Gmail. You feel me? But um. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I saw the video of Fredo, man, you know, hey, that's my boy, though, but you know how to talk, you know, you know, you can't cancel somebody, and you know, they make a living off of, off of YouTube, and stuff like that, you feel me, man, I don't want no beef from you, Fredo, because you might cancel me, and I ain't, I ain't, I just pick my mind up, you feel me, so it's like, but we're gonna, we're gonna run to the agent, man, we're gonna see what we talking about, and, um, yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're, no, we're gonna see what the smile's about, man, you know what I'm saying? And um yeah, let's get it. Like it up in the sub, y'all. Let's get it. What's say You can't you can't get it. I'm out of breath. Shit, my talk. So over the past few days, you might have heard a character by the name of Pretty Boy Fredo has been trying his damnness to cancel me over some comments I made. Of you know what I'm saying? He was, he was speaking his mind, though. Like, if you can't speak your mind, like, like if, if nobody can speak your mind, then you should not be on YouTube. Because YouTube, everybody gonna have their own opinion, though, Fredo. Like, I still love with you, though, but everybody gonna have their own opinion. You feel me? So if you can't, if nobody can't speak their mind on you, then it's like you can't do YouTube. Because it's, it's, it's a lot of people's you know I'm talking about you not like talking about you but speaking their mind about you you feel me so it's like i'm just saying no hey no hey no hey hey hey, hey don't hate me though <laughs> about him over the past few years now those comments was based in reality it was some real criticism i had there was a video he made where he pretended a dude was a predator and he caught him i was arguing hey fredo not wrong with fake videos bro but fake predator videos you're pushing the line fredo had a big meetup in the middle of all this bull going on i argued yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Like, I mean, he says he says apology. We, we understand, but he still like if it was if it was C19, if I had a meetup, for example, right, and it was C19, I would cancel that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to let nobody die over that. You know what I'm saying? Just you know what I mean? So it's like if you know C19, you should just cancel it. But I don't know. Hey, that's just my opinion, Fredo. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's just my opinion. I would cancel it if I had a meetup. That's just me though. You know what I'm saying? Are you hey Fredo? That's real irresponsible. So then Fredo pretended as though he just found out about me and reacted across his Instagram where he put out a post. He was on his, yeah, his that Instagram. Yeah, that was true too. Like he didn't find, like he been he been no agent. He just trying to say he don't know agent. You know what I'm saying? And plus he um, verified on Instagram, so he he know agent though from 2K community. Everybody know agent. Come on now, like who, who don't know agent? You know what I'm saying? Like come on, Fredo. Words <laughs> over the past few days talking. He was on Instagram Live a couple times doing the same, on Twitter, and of course the YouTube video that most of you guys have probably seen. The reason I'm making this video is because he lied about a whole lot of things. And if you didn't double check or do your due diligence, you just believe me to be some evil monster of a human being. Fredo, you are the biggest hypocrite on the entirety of this platform. Your entire video is riddled with hypocrisy and lies. <laughs> your friend sat there and said, I made 10 videos about you. The truth, I made three over the course of the last three years. Yeah, someone said that too. Like, people was like 10. And somebody, all uh, his agent, you know, supporters saying he only made three videos. You know what I'm saying? So he lied about that. Was 
was friends, you know. Some some other they y'all yes when I hey hey that was them. Don't blame on me. Yeah, me, yeah, man. I'm just I'm just a person. <laughs> You laughed hysterically at the idea that I made a 25 minute video criticizing you. Your response was 25 minutes. Uh, um, yeah. That's your recorder. Recorder. Right, recorder. This ain't, hey, this ain't no edit too, so. Straight on it. You there. argue I'm obsessed with you. I'm a fan. Ugh. You kept calling me an eater, a glizzy gladiator. But while I was out there shooting A and P videos, you were spending the whole day blocking people on Twitter to the point where you had to private your Twitter. That's days. You really could have been out there doing Wait, what you always love talking about. Let me see. You probably was Twitter. Let me see. How long? How long? Oh yeah, I went on YouTube. Oh, I went on YouTube. My bad, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. He probably is Twitter. Let me see. He probably is Twitter. I ain't know he probably is Twitter, though. Pretty boy Fredo. He probably is Twitter, man. If y'all can see it. Hold on. He private his Twitter. <laughs> he can't take the heat. If you're a YouTuber, man, you can't be a YouTuber, you can't take the heat. No cap, I'm telling y'all. You probably look, if y'all can see that. Y'all see that right there. See that little mark right there, the little, little suitcase? He probably that motherfucker. And he follow, he got zero people. Zero. He had like a couple people on his stuff. Now he got zero followers. That he follows zero people, but he got 40k. If you, I'm telling you, if you're a YouTuber, and you can't take the heat, don't be a YouTuber. I'm telling y'all, don't be a YouTuber, folks. That's what YouTube comes with. Not all, but you know what I'm talking about. There's only some that's gonna hate or not hate, but you know what I'm saying. You know, I cut YouTube comments with. It's like streaming Twitter. Making money. Well. You was in there censoring, though. And you do a lot of that, don't you, Fredo? In this original video where you felt very comfortable just telling blatant lies about me, you did the same. And that's the main thing I, I, I kind of want to hit on right now. Because uh, while most people know this to not be the case, anybody who doesn't know who I am is going to be like, oh, well, why would Agent say something like that? In Fredo's video, he muted his entire comment section and pinned only yeah, one post. Yeah, that was that one post. Yeah. He says this. Wishing death upon an innocent child is disgusting. You deserve to be canceled. You might be wondering, when did I do that? I was saying, when well, you, I was like, what? When I watched the video. I was like, I kind of mad. I was like, what? I'm going to tell you guys the worst part about it all. I pray the thing he said. Spamming me on Twitter death threats to my daughter. To my child. An innocent being. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And now what kind of human being would do such a thing? And he made this a big focus throughout the entirety of his yeah, video. I that I said that about his daughter. When in reality, not only have I not said that, but I have said nothing to inspire any of the people that watch me to say that. Now Rex. the Twitter account in question that he's referencing Rex. here Come is on, deleted. I was curious who this guy was that I was getting blamed for. No affiliation here. So I went through the archive. And the only interaction between me and him in the month his Twitter account was even active was being called Cap on July 19th about a tweet I made. I don't even know what tweet that is. Hmm. But there is five instances here. Boom, 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 boom. Of him joining your giveaways, Fredo. So who knows what this guy's motivation was for saying those disgusting things, but to argue that it was me, even though there was no evidence I ever inspired anyone to go to your channel and say anything is crazy. You could just as equally have guessed that he was pissed he didn't win one of your giveaways. But regardless of the reason why this individual did this, to sit there and make it a main point of your video and to look here and make it the only comment in your video, you're clearly trying to manipulate. Because what reason would I have to do something that low and disgusting? Oh, saying, like, Zero. Have I ever. Like, what human being will say that though? Like, no cat. Like, come on now. Like, come on, Fredo. You know, go at Asian and ain't that type of human being to be saying that. Come on now. Ever done that, that in the person. past? No. But the f up part is, 
is now there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people that watch his video. It's not gonna watch my video. That's gonna think I said those things. In Fredo's video, he argued that I've never said nothing positive about Fredo. Not true. In fact, in the video he was reacting to, there was positive things I said. Yeah, he, he said pop. Yeah, One of those things it, was defending Fredo, saying that although he did host a meetup in New York while all this Rona stuff is going on, he's not responsible for the actions of all his audience. It's not like the people out here have no responsibility and it's all Fredo's fault. I hate that frame of thinking, the fact that although people did come for him, he did host the event, other people still bear responsibility. They decided to come. Yeah, I literally say, oh, yeah, true, protected true. you saying you can't be responsible for the actions of your audience. And I even went as far as to recite some Eminem lyrics where he argued the same. Yeah, this is how the lyric went. They say that music can alter moods and talk to you. Well, can it load a gun up for you and cock it too? Well, if it can, then next time you assault a dude, just tell the judge it was my fault and I'll get sued. So then how could you sit there and at the end of your video, say this? And also, when the hate don't work, they start telling lies, bro. The level of projection in your video is scary. I am a guy on YouTube who just makes anywhere from gaming to reaction videos who over the past three years has made three videos criticizing you. And now I'm a fan and a quote unquote dick eater. Fredo, you're saying those things as if like, you, the things you did were just like, ah, everybody does those. No, you, you were doing fake predator videos. That's crazy. Uh. And your response to being criticized shouldn't be, oh, that guy wanted clout. How is that possible? I dropped that video on my second channel. And I think, I genuinely believe this to be true, hold on. Your anger stems from the fact that your apology video, which has 750,000 views, didn't perform as well as my reaction to your apology video, which has 860,000 views. And there's no point mm. of me trying to out-ego <laughs> yeah. you. You pull more views than I do. Fact. Anytime someone is making a video about somebody that has more clout than them on the internet, yeah. the, the guy with the smaller channel has more to gain. Fact. But what's also a fact is that I genuinely considered to make a commentary channel back in 2018, and I decided not to because I was worried about where that might lead. I need a video. Uh, uh, this person did this. Let me just say something negative about them for views. I made the express decision to not make that kind of channel because I was worried about what kind of person I would be at the end of it. I know I could have made plenty of dope videos. Some of them would have been hilarious. There's plenty to criticize on the website. There's entire communities of people doing it, and I rarely ever make that type of content. But you do so many crazy things that from time to time, I just indulge. Should I mind my own business? You might be able to make the case, man. You can make <laughs> that case for a lot of people here on YouTube. But don't sit there on your video, pretend I made 10, 20 videos about you. That's not the case. Stop capping, man. But the most hilarious part about all of this is, is he just reveled in the hypocrisy. He's so deep in it, he can't even spot it when it's all around him. Because if you've been paying attention to his Instagram, his Twitter, you didn't see some crazy. I wish nothing but the worst for you. Seriously. I wish nothing but the worst for you. You, you ugly piece of shit, you trash as hell. You wish, you wish death on my daughter. I wish nothing but the worst for you, my nigga. That's on everything that I love. So, Fredo, I never did that. What you just did right there, I never yeah, did that. Yeah, I was what like, what? Seeing that all those death threats I've been getting about me and my family and my friends for the past few days. You're responsible for those? I mean, you did explicitly ask people to go there with malicious intent. I was working with facts. I saw something, I criticized it. When you reacted, you were not working with facts. You were willing to just bridge any gap to make it seem like I was an evil human being when you know that not to be the case. Funny thing is, is most people know that not to be the case. But your fans, your impressionable fans, they ain't know that. That's why they sat there sending me those death threats. They think I'm an evil human being. I can't blame them for that. Only information they have about me is what you told them, and it's pretty damning information, if I should say so myself. Then you sat there, it sent me an invitation, I guess, and, and you can come and we could just talk things out. And in the same video, proceeded to say this. How disgusting and a pig you are. You do not deserve a channel. You are canceled. And as a father, it's on site, bro. So which one is it? I don't know. But you know what I'm not gonna do is pull up to a city that I'm not from with no security, get on a Pretty Boy Fredo flight to a Pretty Boy Fredo car that's gonna take me to a Pretty Boy Fredo destination. I'm not gonna do that, that's for sure. You want <laughs> yeah. the worst for me, Fredo? Cause I criticized you three times over the course of three years. And, and you know what's crazy? He would sit there in the video and be like, he would look at me and be like, oh, he's just so jealous. He just hates to see people give love. You know what's crazy? Niggas hate to see love, bro. I was just about to say that. Niggas hate to see that. that. Bro, yo, this 
When they seen New York come out for us, niggas enraged. Like, like I'm an enemy of love or something like that. How could that be the case, Fredo? On my podcast, I'd sit there. We had an NBA 2K power ranking. Lo asked me the question, hey, yo, where were pretty boy Fredo in 2K16 rank? Oh, he was up there. You was doing numbers. I'm mm -hmm. not. You act like I'm just sitting here shitting on you all the time. I said, Fredo, he'd be at the top. Man, he was killing the game 2K16. Yeah. Dude, Fredo, you were the guy, bro. In 2K16, that inspired a ton of people to drop content, part content, my court content. You had that influence on people. People grew up watching your damn videos, and you really had that kind of positive influence. You're crazy though, man. Influence on people. I believe that to be the case. But somewhere along the line, something changed, and you become this guy who's so fucking hungry for clout. You'd say whatever it takes to crush somebody. I don't want to fight you. Look at me. Do I seem like a kind of guy? Do I come around trying to look hard ever? Nope. I don't give you that impression. I do not want to fight you. Sat there and said, we, we could do a, a boxing match. That's how you want to resolve this situation. You think Fredo Deadass thinks applying dead memes in a boxing match is the most constructive resolution for what he's assuming to be a feud. I'm going to keep it a bean. And this is going to be hard for some of y'all to believe. I don't hate you. The only person in life I hate is Andrea Bragnani because he ruined my Raptors for the better part of a decade. That's the only person, man. I actually, my grade five teacher, nah, she was on my nerves. She <laughs> hated me for no reason. I didn't even do anything to her. It made no sense. Fredo, you sat there on your video and tried to cancel me, man. I never do shit like that. I swear to God, I'm not going to sit there and participate in that shit and try and cancel you back. I don't like that. You like Fredo? Watch a Fredo video. You don't like Fredo? Then do not watch that Fredo video. It's up to you. It's always up to you. Same applies to me. Man, sat there, tried to drag my fucking name over the course of two days. I'm out there trying to shoot videos. I look down at my phone, blowing up. People tell me, yo, Fredo said this about you. What? And the hilarious part was, throughout the entirety of the video, he had his two friends to the side of him, sitting there telling me they ain't know who I was. Who are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I bet that was sad. Like, who, who don't do are? Nobody knows who you are. I just sat there. They kept telling me how I don't have money and nobody knows who I am. And I'm on his dick. I'm like, man, I, I, was, I, I was on the phone. Like, y'all, does anybody on the internet know who these guys are? They had to be hella clouded the way they was talking. Yo, Fredo, just keep it, keep it, keep it constructive. Right? That's what I tried to do with my videos. Just keep it constructive, bro. You don't like me? That's cool. You sat there in video tried to tell me how you didn't want to be my friend. <laughs> All right, then. I never made an application to be your fucking friend, neither. Yo, this is such an interesting situation to me because there's been plenty of people who sat there and criticized Fredo in the past. H3H3 H3 made a video criticizing him in the past. Fredo in his video said it was never somebody with more subscribers, but there's evidence of that. Hold on. So why is this video on the trending tab? And if we skip forward here a little tad bit, you could see. Oh, he's reacting to your video. So it's H3H3 H3 trying to get caught from pretty boy Fredo. Hold on now, H3. You might be caught chasing and dick eating. Hold on, hold on. Then, then, and then pretty boy Fredo's teammates right here is going to sit there and tell you guys, Who's H3H3? We don't even know who H3H3 is. And you can't do that now, now can you? Every two minutes you just walk into a new contradiction and you sit there and make accusations, <laughs> baseless, with absolutely no evidence, walk into a third contradiction. The amount of times you just kept doing that, bro, nobody believes you. Yo, Fredo, this is the end of it. I'm not, this is not like a series. I'm not gonna make a seven part documentary. You sit here, pretend like I'm trying to get cut from you is not the case. Had a few criticisms of you over the past and that's how you decided to respond. Cool. But I'm not gonna just let some lies sit there about me. This is my response to your lies, all right? You could let this shit go, or you could just try and make up more lies. But the reality of the situation is that people don't believe you anyway. So I won't be responding. Hey, if you guys are new, you haven't already subscribed. Channel links in the description. Catch you guys in the next one. But anyway, man, that was on um, the video. Asian respond, man. Fredo trying to cancel me. He, he failed. He failed, though, too, man. He, you know, he tried to, but everybody was on Asian side. When, he, when Fredo made a video, everybody was on his side. Automatic. But, I mean, the Fredo, um, like, supporters, you know, you know they're going to be on the other side. You know, most supporters he got, you know, it's sad to say, you know, they're little kids, though. And that's facts, though. So, they're going to believe what Fredo say, which... You know, Fredo, when, when he was talking, it wasn't true. That's why I was like, that's why I was mad, you know, at Fredo. I still fuck with Fredo, that's my boy. But then he was trying to cancel, you know, you can't cancel people that was, you know, making money off of you. Come on, you can't cancel. Like, like they've been doing this for, like, what, six years? Or, well, I don't know how many years he's been doing. But you know what I'm saying? You, you can't do that. You feel me? It's like canceling me. I've been doing this 
You feel me? Just for example, like you can't cancel nobody though, man. But um, I hope everything calms down, man. You feel me? Everybody was on his side. He made a video, but the supporters are gonna be, of course, gonna be on his side because you know some of them little kids. You feel me? You saw the meetup. Most of them little kids. You got some young adult. You got some adults. But most majority of people is little kids. Little kids gonna, you know what I'm saying? Gonna support, you know, Fredo. Yeah, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? It could be a bad video. They're going to, because they're little kids, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that was his response, man. I'm going to um, post this right away, man. I ain't going to, this raw dog, man. And, um, yeah, man, that's um, that's it, man. Like it up. So, my channel, man, and his own request, let me know in the comments. And, um, yeah, it's my opinion, man. I just, just do my opinion, man. But, um, yeah, I'm out y'all, man. Love you, join y'all. And, um, yeah, all right. peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to eat we're gonna try to eat